right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels? Emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Let us speak of it. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So, I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. the sun. King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King of Odd insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. 
the trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. You're Talana? I see said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So, I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But, he's a Hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever Hawk defeats the greatest machine first, becomes the Sunhawk. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. What happened today? One of our It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make a sea spoil. 
I may not have all the answers, but there is a book of bylaws here which can tell you more about the lodge. Mm, suddenly you're a lot nicer. I saw you talking to Talana. She's tough. You'd be lucky to keep up with her, machine rider or no. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. A, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Read. Didn't want to startle you. No. Oh, yes. I heard of the tragedy that befell your tribe. The sun hung low that day as we traveled back. So, this is the temple of the sun priests. Where we offer our daily prayers for balance. I'm afraid only Karja can participate, but you are welcome to observe. Don't worry. I'm used to it. What are these prayers? To recognize the sun is to recognize we live in renewal. By its rise and fall, we determine what to take up and what to set aside. Offered to its pure heat, the skin peels, and old time is burned away. We treasure the blisters. 
That sounds... painful. <laughs> well, there is no glory without sacrifice. The temple looks out on the tower across the valley. Why? Ah, that's the spire, guiding us forever skyward, gleaming with the rays of the sun at noon. It is said that the spire's shadow lay across this mesa when our ancestors came to the valley, searching for a home. Thus, sun and spire joined, showing the Karja where to build the dawn of Meridian. Always illuminating, you read. There is a matter not officially sanctioned that someone of your boldness you don't have to score, Marid. Let's hear it. <clears throat> One of our brethren, my friend Naman, has stepped from the sun's light in protest. I've supported his efforts as much as I can, but would you speak with him in the sun ring? I'll see what I can do. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaron who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flinthawk's perched there. 
drawn to the spire's shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Stay alert. That's what I say. Goods here. See for yourself. I've got all the best goods here. For sale, I promise. Fair prize. You like what I have for sale. Prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, to apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no bucket for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which, uh... No market for a snap maw lens It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. 
Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap maw lens, what do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, Take a look at these wares. I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay... The price you have to pay? The snap maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. You'd pay handsomely for a long leg lens if you had an imagination. I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think of your skull. I told you from the beginning this wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation, that we would have class. And I told you, a true metal seller like knows something? to get his hands dirty. <laughs> Don't like forget to shock the young ones. Who wears a silk apron to the metal markets? I do. Don't pass up these goods. Won't find better wares. Sure as the sun is rising, the Ozzo will want I'm sorry for what happened to Nora. It's not our business, is it? We've got enough to be worried about. My family might still be alive. And you're going to stand here and wreck nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly.
grab one of these. Stop blowing.
are victorious again. This must be Ronamon's family estate.
wonder what made these machines attack without warning. I need to get in there and look at that thing. <laughs> that device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines. And kill everyone on the estate. Unlocks from the inside. Thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. I found a lore. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw on the machines. Did your father have enemies? Oh no. Ran him and my brother. At first there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when we kicked him out. It was Ronamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. That murderous snake. We can't let him... Can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? Mm, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. As for you... This little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing me myself.
I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Uh.
It's a clever trick they have. But no need to see what you can scent. This blood is sharp, Huntress. Flint sharp. <laughs> the last time I took it into me, they say I slept the sleep of death and sweated dark oil. All right. Try not to die. A stalker watching us. Watched by us. In red eyes, I thought to see ourselves reflected. No. They were dull and set. Set with a purpose precise from their machine mother foundries. They pray. They will not flinch. They are indifferent to the wild. They are final. They are weapons, that's all. My heart drops. Why look for understanding in the axe the moment before it splits your skull? No. No, 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 there's more. The axe does not remember its smelting. These machines do and pine for the metal world. It's hard to know what to make of you. Then open my mouth and look inside. <laughs> A cave of echoes and memory, but not my own. I mean, you're tough-skinned, I'll give you that. Especially on the inside. I first drank at the spring of a fallen thunderjaw. The cables cried out like water birds. But felling giants is short work for you. Trying to appeal to my pride? No. <laughs> to inevitability, Huntress. The tremor of their tread. Can you feel it? Tugging you to the eastern valleys? So a thunderjaw next, huh? But of course, 